This is the Samsung Galaxy A33 5G disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Next, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. There are 15 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now the top plastic cover can be removed. There are antenna lines drawn on this plastic cover which are the light gray color lines. And the NFC antenna is located here. Taking a look at the other side, we can see an area of graphite film to help transfer heat. At this point, we have access to the battery cable, which can be disconnected from the main board. Now we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two coaxial cables on the right side of the board that need to be disconnected by popping them off. Here's a better look at the 13 megapixel front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding on the main board that needs to be removed. Now the main board can be lifted up and removed. On the main board, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 48 megapixel primary camera, a 2 megapixel depth lens, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The main camera is the only camera with OIS or optical image stabilization. There's a secondary microphone on the top corner, and the LED flash is located here. The SIM and memory card reader, as well as the proximity sensor, are both located on the other side. There's also a graphite pad over the back shields to help transfer heat. Once the graphite pad is peeled back, we can see a thermal pad which sits on top of the processor, as well as another one which sits on top of the ship. The bottom cover can be lifted up and removed. This flex cable connects the main board to the screen as well as the subboard. So if you had to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the bottom plastic cover and remove that cover, disconnect that flex cable and lift up the screen flex cable from the frame. At that point, you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen, making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame and reassemble the phone. The other two ends of the coaxial cable need to be disconnected from the subboard, as well as the fingerprint scanner. There's a single Phillips screw holding down the subboard that needs to be removed. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There's a gray rubber gasket around the charger port, and the primary microphone is located here. Here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom and it's held down with some adhesive. And the same goes for the fingerprint scanner and the speaker over here. In order to remove the battery, there are no pull tabs provided to help us pry the battery off. So we will need to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply some to the edges of the battery and let it sit there for about 30 seconds to a minute. So it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. Once the battery is removed and this protective tape is peeled off, we have a better look at the copper heat pipe which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. So moving on, the flex cable for the power button volume key is located here and it's held on with some adhesive. So if you need to replace that, you'd have to just gently pry that flex cable off. And there's a metal bracket over here in the frame, you just have to pull that out. And then you'd also be able to remove the buttons. The earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held on with some adhesive. And there's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is that white sticker there. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put this phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.